fellow Peanuts fans, I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com, here to show you this big haul from a toy show over the weekend. Let's get started. Here we have a pencil case I picked up for a really good price. If you want to know how much I paid for these items, be sure to visit our Patreon page and find out. This is probably from the 1970s, I'm guessing. Here we have a classic, the Super Slate. So you would take this pen and write on this sheet and then when you didn't want to see it anymore, you just pull it up and there goes all of your markings and you can start over. This one's probably from the 1960s. It's by Southfield. See that on the bottom there? I picked this up for a pretty decent price considering how old it is and how decent of a condition it's in. There's a little bit missing there. There's a few folds, but the back of it is unused. It's still got its pen, and this is fairly unused. I think it might need a good cleanup, but that'll be easy enough to do. Here we have a Lucy Pocket doll. She was uh, a decent price, a little bit more than I might want to usually spend, but it was a toy show and I was able to bundle it with another item. And her dress is in pretty good condition. And overall, her body is really nice. Her paint's good. She's still got her pants on. And she's an open-mouthed Lucy, which is always fun. There's also a smiling Lucy. Here's an example of the smiling Lucy, just for comparison. And you can see her dress is a little faded, but it's not too bad. Next, we have a bank. Snoopy laying on top of an elephant. This is from the 1970s, I believe. It is missing its stopper, but that's to be expected. It can be replaced. This bank was in really good condition. The dealer had a lot of other items and maybe I'll see her at another toy show and pick up lots more from her. Also another bank here. This one's pretty common. I've had these in my shop before. I know I just sold out of one, so I decided to pick this up. It was really cheap, and I'm just sad that I didn't get there in time to pick up another one, because she had two. Here we have a Snoopy Bendable. All of his limbs bend, his ears bend. Uh, this ear is a little bit cracked on the inside, so, I have to definitely be careful with him because I don't want to break him anymore. His color is great, his paint is great. His tail is a little bit chewed off, unfortunately, but other than that, he's in just beautiful condition. Here we have a footed mug from Determined. This is from the 1970s. It says you're away. See the bottom there? It's in great condition. There's no like major chips or anything on it. So you don't see these footed mugs a lot. So if I see them for a decent price, I'm going to pick them up. Also from the same dealer as the mug, I also got this. This is beautiful and very rare, and though I do say it's beautiful, the felt on the top, this should probably be a nice bright green color. And it's, it's a little faded and dusty and it needs a little bit of TLC there, but you don't see these double trophies from Aviva very often, so Snatch this right up because it was a decent price. Next up, we've got this Woodstock doll. He's still got his original tag. This one's by Determined Productions. Molly's very interested in this one. What, do you want to get closer? You know you can't play with this. Hey, 
anyway, so what's special about this woodstock is he's got these plastic feet. These can break off kind of easy. So these are still intact, which is great. And that makes it so he can stand up. So if he's wearing like an outfit, he'll stand up. Well, sort of. This is a bad surface to be standing on. There we go. Just in great condition. Here we have a set of books with records in them. So we've got He's Your Dog, Charlie Brown. You're a good sport, Charlie Brown. And you're the greatest, Charlie Brown. Now in the back of these, this is the little record. And the book is a story that you follow along with the record. Maybe you had some of these as a kid. I know I definitely did. Uh, these were also made with tapes, but it's hard to find the tapes because these records fit so nicely in the back of the book, but uh, tapes just sort of get separated from these books. So I thought these were a fun find and in really good condition. Here we have a Snoopy canteen. It's got this zippered pouch that goes around it. Okay, that's, that's not working great. So I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> but the canteen top comes off. This is, I believe, from the 1980s. You'll see these once in a while. They're not super common, but they're also not that hard to find. I don't think they got used much because it's a canteen, so it's a very specific use case. For next Halloween in the shop, I found this Hallmark ornament. So I'm gonna have to test this, see if it actually works. Molly, don't go through the trash can. Here's something I did not expect to find. This is a Peanuts Formation Arts Volume 2 figurine. And these were blind box figurines. It's actually this one. And you can see them all separately here on the back of the box. And here you can see it is still in its original bag. Uh, I'm definitely gonna open this because I think these are really cute. They're very detailed and I'm gonna play with it. So I'm going to. The box is already open, so might as well. Here we have a little something different. This is a model kit. It's Snoopy on his motorcycle here. And usually I don't buy completed model kits, but number one, the price was pretty good. A little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I mean, these are hard to get in the original box or even to find them in pieces so you can build them. So I was like, let's pick it up. And they're remaking these models. So I thought it would be fun to compare this to the new one. And I did check it and I was not able to get this motor working, so we're gonna have to give that to Alan and let him work his magic. Next up, it was a day for Woodstock plushes. Here we've got a Woodstock from Applause, which would have been in the 1990s. And it's got kind of a, I don't know, I always call this like a parachute fabric. So this is a very strange Woodstock to see. So I picked him up for really cheap, actually. So I was happy about that. Another cheapy but goody. This is a Dakin, D-A-K-I-N, Snoopy. And this is probably also the 1990s. Um, picked them up real cheap. 
he's in beautiful condition. He's really soft. Got a little bit of a spot there. I think that'll clean up. But other than that, he's just a great little pl plush for not a lot of money. Here's a couple of oddballs. We've got uh, Snoopy Friction Wheelie. So these are by International Trading Technology. And I saw these on the shelf and I thought, I think I better snap those up. Uh, these bikes are very, seem to be very popular in the secondary market. And since they still have their boxes, that's quite nice. Uh, Woodstock's box is obviously a lot better. You can see his cellophane is still intact. It's not too crunchy. It's got the usual line down the back here where somebody probably folded it over a little bit. But other than that, it's in really nice shape. Now Snoopy, on the other hand, uh, I think he might need a little more TLC. It sounds like there's something rattling around in there and there's a lot of gunk on the top. So I'm going to have to work hard for this one. And of course the usual fold line on the back. It's a really nice toy design so I think that's why people really like them. Next up we have this bag. I can show you the handles here so you know it's a bag. It still has its original tag. It's not attached, but I'm okay with that. It's got little snaps on there. I don't think this was ever used. This design is on both sides. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it's such a beautiful bag. I really love this design. It's so sturdy. It looks like it, you know, came off the factory floor yesterday. That was a fun find of the day. Here we have a Belle outfit. Now this packaging is a little worse for wear, but it's a Belle 15 inch outfit. And finding outfits of that size can be kind of tricky. So I figured I would take a chance on it. I did not pay $3.99. I did not pay 99 cents either. Unfortunately, I paid much more than that. So, but that was a, a decent find. It was in with a bunch of Smurfette clothes. I didn't even know Smurfette had clothes, so rescued it. <laughs> Here we have a pair of Christmas countdown calendars. These, these sell really well in my shop, so I picked up a couple to try and defray the costs of the day. Uh, that's basically how I afford Snoopy shopping sprees is buying enough to resell. Here we have a Lucy doll from Determined Productions. This is from the early 1980s. And there are two versions of this doll. There's this sort of fuzzy plush version. And then there's a sort of less fuzzy version. I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Myself, I prefer the fuzzy version. The, they usually sell for a little bit more as well. But either way, we got this doll for a really good price. I was really surprised at how many dealers just had like, really low prices on things. Of course, there were some that had really high prices on things. That, But that's okay. Got some really good deals and talked down some other dealers. <laughs> Finally, one of my favorites of the day, I mean they're all my favorites, was this trash can. Uh, I don't believe I have this one. I was glad I was able to pick it up. And it was a, a decent price, a little bit more than I might usually spend, but it's in such beautiful condition. Uh, it's fairly round. It's got a couple bumps. But inside, it's really nice and clean. And that's a big factor when buying these old trash cans is... Look at that shine. 
I mean, you don't want somebody's, like, crusty old garbage can. So clean, trust me. So, I love this Flying Ace and Lucy. And then, of course, Curse You, Red Baron. Because Snoopy is a Flying Ace, not the Red Baron. All right. And that's it. Thanks for joining us today for this peek into my toy show finds. If you'd like to find out more about what I bought and where I bought it, be sure to join us on Patreon.com. The link is down below. As well as links to CollectPeanuts.com, our main website, and all of our social channels. Be sure to like and subscribe because it really, really, really helps the channel. Happy collecting! Bye!